criminals carrying illegal guns in their cars. Yeah, it's happening in a local community, and that's not all police are concerned about tonight. Only on five, Michael Baldwin is digging into the disturbing trend. You've heard the expression, a picture tells a thousand words. Well, these pictures of guns could leave you breathless, literally. They were found mostly during traffic stops in Wycliffe over the last year. In 2014, we had 21 incidents where we seized firearms, uh, which was up pretty notably from 2013. Lieutenant Pat Hanks with Wycliffe Police told me they're on pace for over 30 incidents with guns because they're at 11 right now. The question is why? Well, that's not that easy to take aim at. There seems to be a coincidence with the uptick in heroin that, that maybe that could account for some of this, but uh, the trend is a little bit puzzling and it's certainly troubling to us. Are you planning on pulling over at all? This is a car chase along I-90 and Route 2. The driver was clocked at 97 miles an hour, running from police until his vehicle suddenly began to slow down. After he was taken into custody, listen to what police found. The gun was on the passenger seat. The situation could have turned bad quick. Luckily, the driver never showed the weapon, so police never had to fire theirs. The lieutenant told me his guys are trained to deal with these types of situations, but urges everyone, even the criminals, not to touch the gun during a police stop. For whatever reason, if you've got a firearm, that even if, you know, obviously you shouldn't have it, I understand people panic, but you really need to keep your hands away from a weapon when an officer approaches you. You need to tell them it's there. In one case, the lieutenant tells me, an officer walked up to a suspect's car, and the suspect had the gun in his hand. Luckily, no shots were fired. In Wycliffe, Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.